Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Haley Wilkes. Thank you for joining us tonight. Our top story at 6. Today marks the beginning of the Atlantic hurricane season. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is predicting an above average year for hurricane activity. And Suncoast officials want to make sure you are prepared for whatever comes our way. Today, the County Emergency Management Department spoke about the current disaster plan. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates is here with more. Bo Beth? Well, they say there are three things you will need this hurricane season. The first is a plan, the second a disaster kit, and the third is information, including knowing the newly issued hurricane evacuation zones. From the high winds to the rain, forecast for this hurricane season is expected to be an active one. You can't take these storms for granted. I think that's where people mess up. Um, it can be, you could go 10, 20 years with nothing and all of a sudden you have that storm. The National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration predicts a 70% likelihood of 11 to 17 named storms this year, five to nine of which could be hurricanes. And officials say being ready will be your personal responsibility. And remember, the first 72 are on you. That's our, our key message to the public. Government, like Rich said, will do everything we can to respond quickly, to warn you, to prepare you, and to recover as quickly as we can after a storm, but we can't be there for everyone. Part of that preparedness is creating a disaster kit, which should include all the items necessary to survive at least three days without electricity or running water. And as residents prepare, local government agencies are also doing their part. We do planning exercises and training throughout the year. When we look at response and recovery, it's not just uh, um, public safety, but it takes everybody from public works, transportation, facilities, all of our partners together working to solve the issues that could occur during a disaster. Florida Power and Light is among that group. The organization has invested nearly $3 billion to build a stronger electric system. And while they say those systems are working, there is no 100% guarantee that you will have electricity during a storm. We've made a lot of strides in the resiliency part of the electrical grid, um, but it doesn't mean that you won't be without power. When it comes to electricity, if there's anyone in your family that is dependent on electricity for life-sustaining medical equipment or things like that, we want to make sure that you have arrangements for a backup safety. We can't guarantee that electricity will be available 24-7, obviously, during a storm. Now, officials also stress that small businesses should also have a disaster plan, saying 40% of small businesses tend to close a year after being hit by a storm. Another rule of thumb, they say, is run from the water and hide from the wind. Back to you.